A disturbing story out of Brooklyn where two suitcases containing human remains have been found. Fox Size Antoine Lewis joins us live now from Cypress Hills with the very latest on the investigation. Antoine. Steve and Laura, we still have a very active crime scene here, and here's what we can tell you so far. Police say around 1.30 yesterday, they got a call to come do a wellness check for a 2022-year-old 20, female who lived on the sixth floor. Now, they went inside and found body parts, we understand, stuffed inside two suitcases. Now, people who live in the building since we've been here told us that the security guard initially went to do the check, and after being told about a smell that was coming from that unit, but was stopped, they say, by the boyfriend of the woman, so he went downstairs, the security guard, and called the authorities. Now, residents go on to say that it's their understanding that the suitcases were found in the bathroom and that a meat cleaver was also found inside the apartment. Now, police are looking into reports that the victim had a restraining order against the boyfriend who apparently used to live here in this unit as well. Now, we spoke with one lady who lives in the building. She has a young son, and we asked her how she explained all of this to him when he asked her, Mommy, why are the police here? Here's what she said. Yesterday I saw the cops, so I really didn't speak to him about it. This morning is when I found out what actually really happened, so I don't have a chance to actually speak to my kid about it yet, but I will. And it's just about your surroundings. Be very, very, very careful about your surroundings. So, again, residents that we spoke to who did not want to go on camera talked about being in shock and in horror. Many that we spoke with did not know the victim in this case. Nonetheless, police say right now they have no suspects in custody, and the remains have been taken to the office of the medical examiner to determine the cause of death. Lori? All right, Antoine, thank you.